WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everybody, this is the 4 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market wrap. Basil Chapman here and we're looking at the Dow up 729 at 34,582. Held the 14 period moving average to see that black line in the daily chart. Whoosh! Spirals up because it loved what the Fed said. And look at this weekly chart. Uh, this is the fourth week that is nicely above this inside track repellent zone. It's now propellant zone. That's really important. Finally got some catch up in the... Uh, in the S&P, it's in this leg D, closed at 4,079.64 at the high of the day. It's almost a Murabuza candle with no wicks. Well, it's got a little wick at the bottom. Very, very strong, pushing away from the 200-period moving average of the uh, daily chart. That's 4,023. Has to turn that into support on any weakness coming up in the next few days. And you want to see it break out in the weekly chart above this inside track repellent zone where it's been it, it gets reversed every time. This is the time on Friday you want to sit nicely above it. We're looking at the QQQ. Uh, it's been lagging, been lagging, and had a really good session. One of the best sessions percentage-wise, up 4.56, up 12, almost 13 points at 293.42. <clears throat> I think you've still got some important stocks that are coming out after the close with earnings. We're going to be watching those. Meantime, back at the ranch. Uh, the weekly chart, you can see it's starting to break out of the inside track resistance level. The S&P hasn't done that. This needs to do it because it's a very weak looking chart and that will make it improve a lot. IWM, same sort of thing at the 200 period moving average in the daily. Uh, it's up 5.33 at 187.70. And here, too, you want to see it in the 192 area sometime this week, preferably closing there on Friday. Looking at the gold, uh, gold had a nice move early on, then it pulled back. And then when the Fed came out, it just started to move up nicely. It's up 20 at 17.83. It's in this consolidation phase. The way it's looking now, if it can cross 17.89, the 200 period moving average, it can retest the previous high. And if it does that, That'll confirm at 18 point, let's call it 1807 uh, in the uh, continuous contract. That'll confirm that it's in the leg C and it should go to D in the daily chart. That'll really help a leg B in the weekly. You're looking at the TLT, just kind of stalling here. Oh, no, it actually turned up. So yields are starting to come back down again. And crude oil had a very good day. So I'm wrapping it up there. This is going to be a very exciting week. Have a wonderful evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Tom O'Brien will be back and uh, have a great night.